to travel all day, you know, you know, to, to get to Negri. Once I got to Negri, I asked this lady if she know this artist by the name of Jack. So she said that, um, I don't know, but there's a man, you know, living, you know, over by the villa and he's an artist. So I asked her if she could watch my bag for me and you know sometimes it's not even good to, to leave your bag with people but I take that chance to you know took the chance to to anyway. So I went up by the, the the villa and I go upstairs and um I knock at the door and I saw somebody looking like Jack. So the person came to the door and the person was very surprised to see me and he said that what are you doing here so i said well you know at the last time i met i told her that i would come and visit you but he said that but nobody said anything you know and his you know his, his girlfriend know that i don't have any weird to to put anybody so why she sent you so i said well you know i didn't know that anyway but i'm here you know um you know, some in look and he was very kind of upset still, but him said, anyway, come in, you know. So, um, when I got, when I, once I got in, you know, and I took up the paintings, he said that, um, what do you have there? So I said, well, I have some paintings, you know. And he said that, um, you know, I would like to look, he would like to look at it. So I unwrap it, I showed it to him, and he said, Youth man, you're not start to paint yet, you man. And I said, Oh, you mean you don't start to paint yet? I said, I'm a great artist, <laughs> you know. Yeah, I said, I'm a great artist. He said, Well, you know, these are no, these are not good paintings. Because most of those paintings at the time was more commercial stuff, like with coconut trees and, you know, beach scene and all that type of stuff. So, um, so he looked at it and, 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 and I, I said to myself, man, you know, why are you saying that? I'm a great artist. And, you know, and he said, no, 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 no. So I said, I, I, I think I can, but anyway, he said that, all right, I'm a blank, I have a blank canvas that I took with me. And he said that he was going to show me how to paint. So what he did, um, after that, again, he asked me again, what is in the other bag? So I told him that there is some food that my mother gave and my father. And, um, you know, he said, what, what, is, what, is that, what is that stuff? So I said, well, it's some corned beef, sardine, you know, some other stuff. And he said, man, you, man, you're not going to put that in my pot. <laughs> you know, you're not going to put that in my pot. You know, this sardine and this corned beef and all those type of stuff. No, 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 no. But he said to me that um, there is a lady next door. And if you want to, you could go and see if she would would like to, um, to take those stuff. So that's what I did. I went over there, saw the lady and asked her if she would like to get this stuff because my Rasta friend said that I cannot put it in his pot, you know, so, you know, so I come back and then I asked him, I was getting sleepy because I was traveling the whole day, you know, and I asked him, so we are going to sleep, you know, he said, well, you know, I don't have any bed inside here, you know, this is where I do my artwork and this is my studio, but he asked me anyway, what you have in the other bag, so I said, some clothes and all that type of stuff, so I said, all right, just spread out the clothes them on the floor and you could sleep and that, you know. <laughs> but sometimes when you want to learn you do, you, do, you do just about anything. Anyway, what he did, he took that blank canvas that I had and he actually, you know, like a little spliff and then he started to paint. And I went to went to bed and I got up in the middle of the night and he was still painting. I got up at 3 o'clock and he was still painting. And man, he painted all night just to show me that 
he's a great painter and what I what I have is is not up to scratch. So anyway, next morning I got up man and do this beautiful painting. It, it was fantastic, you know, and he said to me that if you want to paint like this, you he call he used to call me youth man. You gotta paint all the time, you know. You gotta paint night and day. He said. So he said to me, whenever you don't have anything to do, you know, make sure you take up the brush and paint. Just paint all the time. You know, if you want to learn, you, you, you got you got to learn to just learn. Anyway, so that was in as I said was in the the late seventies and then he said to me again that um you know so after that I end up spending two years with him. Two years just painting from that time from in this I think it was from nineteen seventy eight between nineteen seventy eight nineteen seventy seven seventy eight to nineteen uh nineteen seventy eight nineteen seventy eight and then Two years later, I was still with him, and I paint a lot. And then, this was one of the pieces that I did with him, you know, as a graduation piece, you know. And learning about the Rasta culture, learning about what it means to paint cultural stuff, you know. You know, what it means to, to, um, Paint from a cultural experience. You know, you have the lion, you know, the lion represent like the lion of Judah, you know, the Rasta man, you have the drum over there, you know, you have the chalice, you know. So I learned a lot about my culture. Here's, that's where I learned about my roots, learn about, you know, Africa, learn about um, what was going on in the world. You know, and you know, learn about the Middle Passage, learn about how we, you know, during slavery, slavery, you know, how, how we end up in Jamaica, and he, you know, and he was a good poet too. He, he, you know, so this is where I got my foundation from, you know, and I, I, I don't think without that experience, I could be the artist that I am today. With out you know learning from the Rasta man which is name name was Jack Murray you know and but uh, I call him Jack you know when he called me youth man but I've learned a lot from him in terms of the culture the culture and and um, you know learn about the Jamaican art experience you know Caribbean art you know just about the history of what was going on, you know, in the Caribbean and in Jamaica at the time, you know. Um, I know that is not all part of the society, you know, you know, was appreciate this kind of work, but um, but it was a good experience for me, you know, and I really appreciate, um, you know, my friend um, Jack, you know. Still in Jamaica, I'm still painting, you know, still doing his stuff. You know, I go and see him sometime when I'm in Jamaica. But um, it was a great experience and I cherish all of that learning, you know. And then, you know, after, after that, I came up back to Kingston and then um, applied for the School of Art. So I have to. Sh I will show you some more work during that time also, but it was, it was a great experience, you know, for me, and I've learned a lot from that, and um, you know, but again, you know, when you want to learn, um, you do do just about anything to, to 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 learn from 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 others, you know. So I would say this is a this is a tribute to my friend Jack, you know, and I hope you will see this 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 
this video, you know. I said to you before, um, when I first got to Negri that very same night, my friend chose to to um, to produce this piece of artwork. And the Rasta man just wanted to let me know that whatever I was doing at the time wasn't creative enough. So he actually um, spent all the evening, <laughs> you know, all night till 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 daybreak to to paint this 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 piece of artwork. So I just want to share it with you, you know, because I think it was a very inspirational piece. It was very inspiring to to see um, such a magnificent work. And I think Jack um, did a very good job in producing this piece. As you can see, is a Rasta man standing there. It's like he's standing on a mountain top, and then you have the lion right beside him, you know, you know, uh, you know the lion symbol symbolize strength, and you have the shuttle that is, the shuttle was brick brick, you know, as you can see, and then um, you have the Rasta man in the corner beating the drum, and he's like there on a mountain top looking down in the valley, and you have fire, like fire is on the land. Then you have the rainbow, then you have the lightning going on up there. So it's a very creative piece. It's like telling a story. So I think he did a very good job in terms of, and it's a very creative piece. It's very inspiring to, to see other artists work. So I just want to kind of share that with you in terms of um, what he did. So. Um, yeah, I think the Rasta man did a good job, you know, and I just hope it's, it, it can inspire other artists or other young artists who is coming up and want to, 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 to pursue art as a career, you know, or not to a career, but produce, you know, to to, you know, because art is a way of life, you know, it's not something that you get up in the morning and you say, well, you're going to go to work and it's, you work nine to five and it's, it's all over. It's, it's always in your mind, you know, it's always um, something that you think about. It's a lifestyle. So, um, you know, once you get hooked on it, you, you get hooked for life. So. I just want to kind of share this with some of the people who are some of the young artists or young people who decide they want to pursue the art and they want to go, go into that direction.